Hey my beautiful crowd, this is Sot Loculo. In today's video I will show you how to make a pancetta tesa. It's like a stiff pork belly prosciutto, a delicatessen you will love. So if you're not, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to know when I'm posting. This is a simple recipe that will last a good time in your house. So let's prepare it though. It will be made by curing the raw meat to have the possibility to consume it with or without cooking it as prosciutto, ham or just as pork belly. First of all, let's toast to your health and happiness. Cheers, my friends! Wow, dwarf bravery, I love it! Now that we are ready to go, let's start listing our ingredients to get ready to our first spell. Ready! We summoned the half of our pork belly we cut in the pork belly roulette, so if you haven't seen it yet, I will put the link up here. We were looking for a beautiful cut, lot of meat, lot of fat and without the skin. Look at all these stripes of meat and fat, this is just perfect for us. The cut of your meat means everything in this recipe, so choose it carefully. We are doing this recipe in two steps salt in the meat and add in the spices. Then 5-6 days our meat will be cured. Let's evoke 2 pounds of rock salt. Please use a good kosher salt or just the salt you normally use, but better if coarse salt. Destroy it and we need just 3-4 spoons of applewood smoked black kosher salt. It is optional, but I like the smoky flavor my original recipe has. You can also buy expensive smoker machines for food, but with this trick you will have the same result without going broken. Dismiss it and we need 138 peppercorns, neither 37 nor 39, just 38. Destroy for now and evoke some chili flakes, I will use a lot. All the spices have to be dry as hell. Dismiss it for now and conjure some smoked paprika. We will use 1 teaspoon of it. Dismiss it and evoke 1 teaspoon of thyme. Destroy it and summon 1 teaspoon of sage. Please all dry ingredients. Disintegrate it and conjure 4 leaves of bay laurel, dry and beautiful. Dismiss them and evoke 6-7 juniper corns. I will use 8 because I'm not low. You can also avoid it if you can't find it, but our recipe is amazing with it. Dissolve it and we need 8 grains of coriander, 10 if you like coriander very much. Destroy it and now it's time to cover for 6 days our meat with salt and put it into a refrigerator. If you want to use less salt you can and put the meat into a container with a little step on one side to lift it and to let the gravity allow the easy drain of the blood but with 2 pounds of salt it will absorb it and cure the meat much more easily. Use also one twig of rosemary, it can be fresh, you can take it with your hand or bring it with magic and throw it away again with magic, it's up to you. My friend, look at this conjure now. Nice, we evoked a modern and pestle. And with it, we need to smash some applewood smoked black kosher salt. Ready! 3 spoons of this salt and smash it. Now apply it on the surface of the pork belly, massaging it well all over the surface. Do it also on the other side and keep massaging a couple of minutes just in this way. Dismiss the murder and pestle, close your black salt, dismiss it and bring 2 pounds of coarse sea salt or rock salt. Open the plastic with black scissors and put it all over the meat. Massage it vigorously all over the meat and inside the crevasses the meat may have. Flip the pork belly and put the other half of the amount of the sea salt on top of the pork belly. Let the plastic disappear by the recycling it and massage the salt all over the meat and also on its sides. 
Now let's evoke a time seal jutsu to let 6 days elapse. Remember to flip and massage the meat once a day, it's very important. Now let's see our meat then 6 days. It's very stiff, almost rigid, also the external fat is stiff. Now we need to wash it. I didn't mention the red wine at the beginning of our video to wash our meat, because you can do it with water or vinegar. I will use a mix of Montepulciano d'Abruzzo and the red vinegar in a moment. Now take a brush you use exclusively for the food and brush the excess salt. Do it with your speed powers. Clean the surface with a splash of water, LOL, just 5-10 seconds and submerge your pancetta tesa stiff pork belly into the red wine. Let it stay for 5 minutes both sides. Meanwhile, enjoy this magic with me, my friend! Ready! We already mixed all the spices together, grinded, finely chopped, smashed and that's it! Now let's take our meat and press it down. Flip it over and massage these spices all over the stiff pork belly for 1 minute each side. I added another 5 spoons of chili flakes, but it's up to you how spicy you want it. Clean your gloves and now pierce the pork belly. Here it's the best spot to do it. Now take a thread and put it inside the hole of the little cut you made. Pass it through the stiff pork belly and make 3 knots close to the meat. And 3 at 5 inches. Remove the excess of thread and this will be the result. Wow, look at it! It's gorgeous! Let's look at it with other cameras. Now put it into a net for mosquitoes for about 6 weeks. It has to be hanged into a fresh aired place of your house. And here we are, 6 weeks are elapsed, and now it's the time for the reveal! Now we have a product that can be eaten just like a prosciutto or cooked for a lot of recipes. Let's remove it from the net. Ready! Oops, so much magic! Look at it! Now it's stiff! and the smell is very pleasant from the outside. But let's cut it! Evoke a glass cutting board and let's see the inside. Whoa! The smell is so intense and fragrant! Not funky at all! It smells like... like a spicy prosciutto, but better! Let's cut a thin slice to taste it. But let's look at it first. The smell is almost nutty, it is so powerful but delicate at the same time. Let's evoke some pan pizza, bread pizza, I taught you how to make it in my last video, check it out! Whoa, it's like prosciutto, it is a very pregiate delicatessen. Fatty, but rich. Very sweet and spicy. The spices together with the meat and the thyme made an alchemy that transformed the product like a whole. 
oh and the flavor with some white bread pizza it's just spectacular the meaty flavor is perfectly balanced with the flavor of the sweet fat and the spices with the hybrid pizza gives it a very ancient and delicate touch i love it well guys let's shout out our first patreon he gifted us a gorgeous ring light and some very cool lights too thank you very much man you're awesome I will leave you also his links down below this video. This recipe was amazing, wasn't it? Well guys, remember to subscribe to my channel, click the bell button to know when I'm posting, you can follow me on Instagram at soth underscore lucullo, on my Facebook page, on Twitter, on Reddit, and I have a Patreon too. Well, it's all for today, see you in my next adventure, this is Soth Lucullo, the Supreme Archmage. I cook my way